but it's the thing you should never, ever do when you're cheating on your diet and you want to lose weight. Okay, here it is. You ready? So you know how you sit and you eat your piece of cheesecake or you have your craft beer or whatever the thing is that you're enjoying and the whole time you're eating it, you're just like, oh, why am I doing this? I'm so dumb. This is why I'm fat. I'm never going to lose weight. And you're just like saying all this stuff to yourself, right? It turns out that is pretty much self-fulfilling prophecy. If you have negative emotions, Cece, I'm going to give it to you, girl. You said regret. If you have guilt, food guilt, regret about what you're doing, or any negative emotions when you're eating, it turns out that actually impacts the way that you digest that food and you will actually store more of it as fat. So this is not one of these things where I just say, because I do say this, if you're going to do something, you might as well enjoy it. There's no point in feeling guilty about it. It's not that I just want you to feel good. I don't give a crap, okay? This isn't just, oh, I want you guys to feel good while you're doing something bad for your body. That's not it. And I'm also not saying that you can eat whatever you want and just feel really good about it and get results. I'm also not saying that. But when you indulge, it turns out the way that you feel about it actually affects your metabolism. It works through like your hypothalamus and regulating all these hormones surrounding digestion and it's very involved and if you want to read about it, you can go read about it. I won't get all into the nitty gritty of this. But think about this like the placebo effect of food, okay? So we know it's very well established that there's a placebo effect with medicine, right? We have to account for this when we do research on medications. You can take something, you can literally change a symptom that your body is having, right? So food, as it turns out, also has a placebo effect to it. That's, that's the best way that my brain makes sense of this. So if you're going to go off plan and you're enjoying it and you're having a good time and you're not really worried about it and you get back on the plan the next day, cool. Probably not affecting you as much as the person who's sitting there self-loathing and hating themselves while they eat it. That person is going to actually put on more weight, um, have different things going on with their blood sugar, all this nonsense, just because of the thoughts that they're having. So what do we do about this? Well, number one, if you're going to cheat, enjoy it. Okay? Stop looking at food as good or bad bad. Uh, food is a tool. You ingest it. Sometimes it's a tool used for good. Sometimes it's a tool used not so great. Um, but at the end of the day, that one piece of cake isn't turning you into a horse. It is not making you into some villain. Relax. Enjoy it. Don't have a cheat meal every day. Then you're not really on a meal plan. Uh, but when you do, this kind of goes on, along with like mindfulness of food, right? Sitting and being grateful for your meal, being happy while you're eating. And it's not just feelings of guilt. If you're just like crying about your boyfriend into your ice cream while you eat it, like <laughs> watching your Lifetime movie, I'm not judging, okay? Ben and Jerry's, strawberry cheesecake. I love it when I'm sad. I get you, girl. I eat my feelings too. But listen, take a time out. Take a time out, put a happy song on or something first, then smash your bowl of ice cream. Make sense? Is this what you guys thought it was going to be? Uh, Linda Corbin, shout out to you, girl, because you are the only person who guessed this right yesterday. Linda guessed this. CC guessed this. So good job, ladies. Um, if you want the other things that I recommend uh, in regards to the whole cheat meal topic, let me know. Drop a comment here. Tell me that you want them. I'll send them your way. Um, I have four of them all ready to go. They're things that I personally do. They're things I use with the people I'm working with. Um, they seem to work very, very well. But even if you don't ask me for those tips, this is the number one thing that you must never, ever do with your cheat meal is sit and feel bad about it. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. It's not good for your mental game. It's not good for your relationship with food, but as it turns out, 
it's also not good for your waistline. So I hope that this helps. Um, when you decide to indulge, I'm not encouraging you to do it all the time, but when you decide to indulge, do it with a merry heart, enjoy it. Um, you only live once, eat the piece of cake. Don't cry about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't talk shit to yourself while you're eating it. Whoops, I swore. Don't talk crap to yourself while you're eating it. Just enjoy it. Get back on the horse the next day. And uh, I hope that this helps. If you guys like this, if you thought it was helpful, hit the share button so that your friends will also stop talking crap to themselves while they eat their pizza. No, we don't need to cry into our pizza or our ice cream. We need to be happy while we're eating it. Okay?